Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. So, this happened like an hour ago, I think. Yeah, at least half an hour ago. But, um, the pictures of the new Frankenstein and his Bride Collector 2-pack, well, it's just called the Bride of Frankenstein 2-pack, so I'm just gonna call it that going forward. Uh, pictures of it have been uploaded to Mattel Creations, we have a price, and in this video, we're just gonna be going through that. So, with that out of the way, let us begin. Also, I'm going to be giving my opinion on the pack, so if you don't agree with me, that's fine. Just putting that out there right now. If you don't agree with me, it's fine. So, don't get mad. All right, let's begin. So, in case you don't recall, yesterday we got this photo of the two dolls in this pack holding hands. Because, you know, it's a wedding pack, pretty much. The first one Monster High has ever done, because it mostly consists of teenage characters. It would be weird if they did a wedding pack before. But now we have Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. And I am well aware that the monster's name is not Frankenstein and that he's called Adam in the book. But just for simplicity's sake, because even this pack refers to him as Frankenstein, we're just gonna call him Frankenstein. It's probably his last name anyway, since, you know, he was made by Dr. Frankenstein. So could it technically be his name? Adam Frankenstein? I don't know. I didn't read the book. I've never watched a movie. I have never seen a film before in my life. So here is how the dolls actually look. And right off the bat, I'm honestly very impressed with the way Frankenstein himself turned out. I saw people speculate if this pack was going to happen, that most likely they would use Slow Mo's face mold for him. And, you know, because Slow Mo's like a zombie. Makes sense. And I think that's what they did here. They might have modified it a little to give his eyes kind of like that half-closed look. And I think it's really cool. But when I look at the Bride of Frankenstein, all I see is Twyla. I think they used Twyla's face mold on this doll. I could be wrong, but it really looks just like Twyla to me. And they did this with the Grady twins too. I don't really like the Twyla face mold. I know she's like a super popular character, and I like her dolls. The face works well for her, but I don't feel like it works well for any other character because it's just too distinct, you know? That's the thing with Monster High, with the Skelector line in general. Like, with um, Pennywise, Pennywise has Viperine's face mold, but you wouldn't be able to tell because their faces look nothing alike. It's a completely different screening and it makes Pennywise look distinct. It's the same with Greta, except Greta got a brand new face sculpt, so you can't really use that as an example. Dracula used the Create a Monster Vampire's face, but modified and basically unique. It's the same thing here. She has a unique screening, but I can still tell that it's Twyla's face sculpt, and I think that's what's throwing me off. Like, I just can't look at this doll without seeing Twyla. <laughs> I hate to say it because, like, I wanted to like this pack when it was first announced, aka yesterday, but I just don't feel very strongly about it currently. I'm looking at it and it's like, hey, this is a cool looking two pack, but overall, I just don't feel much. Like, Frankenstein, incredibly well made. This is a great first male Skelector doll. He has molded hair, it's not rooted, but I feel like that makes sense for Frankenstein. You know, they had to give him his iconic square head. Is that part of him? His head's kind of square? I feel like it is, but I don't remember. I don't know. But um, this is what the inside of their packaging looks like. It's honestly really nice. Um, that Does that say we belong dead? Am I reading that right? On the right side of the box, it's, there's something written in the electricity. And I think it says we belong dead, but I, uh, maybe I can't read? I don't know. But this is what the two dolls look like together. And probably one of the most jarring things other than Twyla's face mold is the fact that there's blue on the Bride of Frankenstein's shoes. It just feels very off. It doesn't really match because there's no blue anywhere else in the pack. But overall, it doesn't look so bad. It's barely visible in the box. And 
I'm an inbox collector when it comes to the collectors, so I'd be leaving them in box if I were to buy them anyway. I'm honestly not sure. I honestly don't know if I want them. Because I didn't mention this yet, but um, this pack is $90. The last time we got a two-pack from Skelector, the Skelector line, it was Beetlejuice and Lydia, themed around, of course, the movie Beetlejuice. And they were also $90. So I will admit I did expect this. And the packaging looks nice. Uh, the back of the box reads, What does a monster have to do to find a mate? Have her built, of course. Dr. Frankenstein was a little hesitant to help, but with his fiance screaming from a deep, di- dank dungeon. What the fuck? Why is his fiance in a dungeon? Okay. It wasn't too hard to convince him to get with the program. So, a little human heart there, a kedar, kedar, a leg there, a zap of lightning, and bam, she's alive, alive, the bride of Frankenstein. Look at her in all her ghoulish glam glory. The shocking hair really pops up against that chilling, gauzy white gown. And did you get a peek at her shoes? Like Dr. Brictorius says, science, like love, has her little surprises. And my pale bride is just full of them. Man, we look so good together. It's causing a real mob in the village. If only she would stop screaming when she sees my handsome mug. I guess it's like Pretorius would say. Ugh, I really hate quoting that guy. The heart is more complex than any other part of the body. One day she'll see, dead or alive, that we are made for each other. Okay. Is that the plot of the movie? (laughs) I'm sorry, I've never watched the Frankenstein movie. Ever. But... This is what they come with. That's what they come with. Okay, um, all the previous collectors have had like one or two accessories. Pennywise had a paper boat and a balloon. The Grady twins had that little ball and the little key to the room. They don't come with anything. It's just the dolls a certificate, and their stamps. Did she not have flowers in the movie or anything? Did they not have any, like, iconic accessories they could have given them? Like, even Greta, they gave her a little pet of Gizmo, the gremlin. And her lipstick. Beetlejuice and Lydia had stuff. They had the handbook for the recently deceased. That was a big thing in the movie. I don't know. It just feels weird. They don't have anything. Okay. They're still nice. They still look cool. Once again, though, I still feel my Twyla rant, though. She still looks too much like Twyla for me. I feel like a better face mold for her might have been Headless Headmistress's face. It would have been a more mature sculpt, and it would have looked a little better. But overall... Frankenstein is definitely what makes the pack for me. He looks really good. I really like his shoes. <laughs> the shoes are really cool. Overall, I think for the first male collector, he looks amazing. As for the bride, she's all right. Um, if I were to give them ra- like ratings out of 10, I think I would give Frankenstein a 9 out of 10. And the bride, I think I would give a 6 out of 10. So... Yeah, that's about how I feel right now towards them. Uh, His hand looks a little different here. I don't know if they purposely made his hand larger here than it actually is on the doll. But, no, the size difference looks pretty similar. Okay. Uh, I thought that, like, his hand might have been bigger. I honestly thought that he might have had the Manny Tor mold, like, body sculpt. But he's too short, too. The Manny body is massive. As someone who owns Manny, I can confirm he is fucking huge. I don't know why I said it like that. Sometimes I do a little silly voice when I talk. And that's just how it is. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm not funny or amusing in any way. But yeah, that's the Bride of Frankenstein 2-pack. Okay, update. I was almost done with this video, but there are more pictures now. And I'm gonna retract my statement about her using Twyla's face sculpt. I think it's Rebecca's, but the way they painted her eyes makes her look 
really, like, she has the Twyla face sculpt. It's mostly in the lips. Um, I compared one of the Grady twins, as well as Twyla herself, to this doll, and I'm pretty sure it's Rebecca's face sculpt. I've seen that comparison a lot, so I grabbed one of my Rebecca's to compare, and their noses, as well as their lips, very similar. So, yeah. Frankenstein himself also just looks incredible. <laughs> like, he looks so good. I really like seeing him. Um, I could see myself buying this pack just to keep up my Skelectors. Even though I no longer have the Grady twins, I didn't want them anymore, so I just got rid of them. <laughs> but, yeah. Overall, pretty cool. So, I'm guessing the bride is Rebecca's face. It's my final guess. I could be wrong. He doesn't have eyebrows. I just noticed that. <laughs> I'm guessing that's accurate, though. But yeah, and uh, before we wrap up, allow me to show you guys her shoes. They're really cute, actually. I don't know if this was something from the movie, like, you know, having heels with little little guys in there, little, little spinning ballerina guys, but that's cute. It's pretty cute. Maybe she had a music box in the movie. Once again, I don't know. I didn't watch it. But yeah, these dolls look really cool. So that's about it. Time to move on to the end of the video. Yeah. So with that said, that is the Bride of Frankenstein 2-pack. What do you think of them? Do you think they're worth $90? They're not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as always, feel free to comment your thoughts below. I like talking with you guys and seeing what you have to say about the Monster High releases. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one.